This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. Hi, I'm Megan Donahue. Here to talk about dental implants is Dr. Mark Buffalini with Carolina's Oral and Facial Surgery Center. Dr. Buffalini, welcome. Thanks for having me. What are we talking about today? Uh, specifically, I wanted to talk about uh, the mandibular overdenture or the implant retained denture. Um, what that is, it's a great solution for patients who are currently in a complete denture who are dissatisfied with their level of performance. Uh, problems that patients run into with the lower denture is that it doesn't fit properly, uh, it can move while they're talking, can be a source of embarrassment. During social interactions, uh, patients are worried that the denture can fall out uh, or they're talking differently than that they used to with their natural dentition. Okay. Also, it's harder for them to chew foods that they used to be able to chew. Uh, and also with the denture moving, it's uncomfortable for patients being that the tissues are pinched or pressure sensations along the jaw. What are the benefits of having an overdenture? The benefits of the overdenture is that it's implant retained, meaning that the denture snaps onto the implants, meaning that the while patients will function and talk, that the denture is no longer slipping and sliding, there's no longer a need for messy adhesives. Uh, and as you can see in this model, the denture will snap onto these implants which are placed into the jaw. And with these implants, there's a special attachment inserted to the implants after the healing phase, and then the denture is modified and then snapped into place and it fits firmly onto the jaw and there's no longer any movement of the denture. Okay, and how many implants do you need? Typically two implants is all that's necessary for the mandibular overdenture. Right. For more information, go to carolina-surgery.com. For more details, go to healthfirst on wect.com.